spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You bet you, Tyler Clifford. Wednesday night baseball coming your way from lovely Petco Park. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Trevor Cahill will do the pitching in game three of the series. Harold what do you got. Well, Matt, last outing, it was solid. I'll put it that way. He pitched into the sixth inning, but he couldn't get out of the sixth inning. I don't know if he ran out of gas or just wasn't able to locate his pitches. But in this game, if he's able to execute, minimize the pitches early in the game, I think he'll have a chance to go deeper in the game. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Cahill ready the one two. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field and a fair ball as this will head out toward the 322 sign in right. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. In the well, the key to any pitcher, and particularly this guy, is being able to put guys away. And now, why do I say that? He got two balls he fouled off previously, and then he gets the single. If he can't put guys away, this is going to be a short outing. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. And Granderson runs. Hit weakly back to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, any thoughts? I'll tell you, this team could really use a turnaround from Cespedes. This guy won a silver slugger last year in the National League, but we haven't seen that same player lately. He's just not swinging the bat real well. He doesn't look confident. He doesn't look like the same player that produced those huge numbers last year. Here's your one Cespedes. He's come up in big spots like this more than once this year. Currently second in the NL in RBIs. Ready with the 3 1. Cespedes takes ball four there and he'll head down to first. Batting so four. striding in, the right Michael Conforto. He enters play Michael hitting in the 260s Conforto. for the year. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Nope. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, this veteran pitcher lets you know right away what his game plan is. Fastball inside, he's trying to take away that inside part of the plate. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. See you later, over the wall, a home run. So a three-run shot to left center. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smell blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three-run job and an early lead. Standing in now, Neil Walker. And, ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. 
Summerskill's a little notorious for having a wide zone. Really frustrating for hitters. I saw one guy turn around at him one day and yell, is this a picnic table or is it a plate? Yeah, he was tossed before he finished the sentence. Three runs already home here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Jankowski will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Here's Jay Bruce now. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. Here's the one and one pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Harold, this Padres team as they take the field here tonight, they are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Well, they've been on a little bit of a losing streak, but this is why you have veterans. And the veteran pitcher on the mound, he's been through this before. He knows more than anybody. He has to have a quality outing and give his team a chance to win. They need it now more than any other time. Another try at 2-2. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt, and that ends the inning. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. On to the bottom of the first at Petco Park. It's 3-0 New York. Jacob deGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, last game he had the strikeout stuff working. He got 10 strikeouts. It was fun to watch. He pitched deep in the game. Hopefully he'll give us another one of those performances in this game. Stepping into the box, Travis Jankowski. And he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Favorable call in there for a strike. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. With a moment here in downtown San Diego, a look at the Padres' starting lineup. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, you're already down three. You can't worry about that. Still play with your game. You got a lot of baseball left. Get maybe one inning. Chip away. Try to get at their pitcher and get your team right back in the game. Now with the plate, Corey Spangenberg. In previous duels with the Grom, one for six. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. One out, nobody on. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Swing and a liner. Foul. Two and two count. Here it comes. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Grounded up the first baseline. Played on the backhand. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Stepping into the box Will Myers. He's not among the league leaders in home runs but his total does top this ball club. Set to deliver on two and one. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Padres down in order. They trail it here, three to nothing. Now to the plate, David Wright. He'll stand in against Trevor Cahill to get the inning underway. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. 
Ready now with the payoff pitch. Line drive to center field. Margot is right there, one down. All right, here's how the pods line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And that shortstop, Eric Ibar. He's won a gold glove before, but you're not going to see the guy that's going from one end of the field to the other making ground ball. He now relies a lot on positioning, and he catches it when it's hit to him. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hard ground ball to third, and just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. I like that at bat. Found himself down 0 and 2, kept battling, put the ball in play, little grounder Jacob through the hole, DeGrom. and ends up with a base hit. Just fight through the at bat the whole way, and that's what he did right there. Into the box, Jacob DeGrom. Now a bunt attempt here. Pro gets him, two down. Riding in once again, Curtis Granderson. He singled his last time up. Let's go, guys. The set and the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, man, I tell you, that looked like a good pitch right there. That looked like that pitch was in the zone. He just missed it. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Two men are on with two men out. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Two left for the Mets. They lead it three to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Shimp. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. Another one sent foul. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Saws him off here as this ball is popped into the air. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. Squared that one up just a little late. That's the sixth ball he's fouled off in a row. You just keep fighting until he gives you something to hit. Line drive to left. Oh, and he misses it. Man, I'm not sure what to make of this one. The ball was hit hard, but it looked routine. The only thing I could think of is maybe he lost it in the lights there. That's a tough break. Now batting, Hunter Renfro. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Nobody out, runner on first. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes ranging back. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. 
in this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. In previous duels with DeGrom, 0 for 7. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. One there, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Digging in now, Christian Bethencourt hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Here's the one and one pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Two out with the man at first. Hit hard on the ground to third. Wright's got it. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Luis Sardinius. It's come now into the ball game now base. as he takes over as the Number new third two. baseman. Luis Sardinia. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. No official that bad for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Margo has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Digging in to try it again, Michael Conforto. He hit a big three-run bomb in his first plate appearance. Now here's the pitch. Uh, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Here's Neil okay. Walker. 0 for 1 Second for him here in this one. Neil Bases are Walker. empty here with two men out. That's in there. 3 and 1. Well, I thought with two outs right there, that situation, he probably had the green light 3 and 0. Oh. Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. But I think he's probably swinging here too. 3 1. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Renfro looking up. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo home run here for Neil Walker. Number 14 on the season. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4 nothing lead. Wow, another long ball in the early going of this one. The second one he's allowed in just two and two-thirds innings. Might want to warm up those showers. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the car. In now, Jay Bruce. Aye. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. Two out, nobody on. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Renfro is camped under this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 4 0 New York. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. 
As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. And the Friars are into the hit column. Well, that's what you want. The guy in front of the pitcher leads off the inning with the hit. Now it's time to play some baseball. Are you going to bunt him over? Are you going to hit and run? Are you going to steal? What are you going to do? It gets fun now. Stepping in now, Trevor Cahill. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. On to first, and they get the double play. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. Into the box now, Travis Jankowski. Out of play off to the right. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Padres go down quietly. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the one and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings. So it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Throw to first in time. One Not gone bad. here in the fourth. Travis Stepping in and ready for another shot. Travis Darno. One for one after a single this first time up. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Tried to put him away on a changeup, but that one was up. Anytime a changeup is up, you recognize it. When it's down, very tough to hit. He just missed a spot. Into the box, Jacob deGrom wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. Now the skipper of the Padres is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and that's going to be all she wrote here for Trevor Cahill. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening, as he certainly was not sharp. Jared Kozar answers the call from the pen here in the fourth, as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. It is Curtis Granderson. Previous history with Jared Kozart. No hits in 19 tries. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Four runs, five hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus far. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. He's set, and the payoff pitch. But he won't have an opportunity to throw either man out. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly loaded now with only one away. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. In now, as Dribble Cabrera, little dribbler back at him. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. 
Here's your one assessment. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Renfro on the move. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Mets five, and the Padres nothing. So striding forward now, Corey Spangenberg. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. Aye. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. This is only their second base runner of the game after First that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base. So we'll Myers. see if they can get something going here. Here's Will Myers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A runner at first with no outs here. Line towards center field. And that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. Well, this is how rallies start. You get one man on, then you get the base hit. Look, Look it's man, still early. Two. I know they're down Luis. by a lot, but man, Five, this is how little out. things add up. They need to score this inning, and then from there, continue to add on. Stepping in now, Luis Sardinius. Hey. One and what two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. And Cabrera will take this one for the first out. The right fielder. Digging in for his second at bat, Hunter, Hunter Renfro. Renfro. He flew out in his last at bat. One and one, here it is. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. In to score, the runner from second. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. This thing was a double or more, the second it left his back. He really drove it well, and it ended up one hopping the wall out there. And more importantly, he picks up two RBI along the way. Standing in now, Eric Ibar. He swings, and it's a line drive to left center. That's in there. Base hit. The runner scores from second, and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a 5-3 to three ball game. Now batting. Ready for another chance? Christian Bethencourt. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Yeah as they say there's a hole in his swing in that location so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box Manuel Margo and this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Man, it's been a long inning. He's grinding through it. Look, he's got an open base. And I, any other time, I'd say maybe pitch around it. But you can clearly see this inning's taking its toll on him right now. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his bat, but... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this.
with Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Looks like double-barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. In for strike two. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But, man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Very weakly on the ground. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for the Mets. Here's Neil Walker. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Spangenberg has it. In time to first, and there are two away. Up next for the Mets. Here's Jay Bruce now. Previous Jay history with Bruce. Jared Kozar. One for five. Now here's the pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Young Herbert Solarte will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 26, Young Herbert Solarte. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. And the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first out. Up next for the Padre. Left Digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. And here's a ball hit in the air. Here comes Cespedes. He can't get there as it falls in. The Digging in once again, Corey Spangenberg. All for one with a run scored thus far. Three runs, five hits, and one error for the pot race so far. Hit swung on and missed the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Hey, this catch is not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base. He had no chance to throw that runner out at second. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Another one two delivery and a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Hey I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there might have been sitting on an off speed pitch but instead he gets the fastball way late had no chance to put that ball in play. And there's the fourth wide one so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Yeah the guy's been on fire lately hitting anything close so I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Hits are even right now at five aside. This one's flared toward left center. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. Padres leave a pair. They're still down 5-3. Kevin Quackenbush is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. Quackenbush. Here's the third baseman David Wright. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. The 2 1 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Travis Darno, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. He's set. Here's the 3 1. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. Margo's under it. Makes the play one away. Now batting. Catcher. Stepping in and Travis ready for another Darnot. shot. Travis Darno. Two base hits, both singles to this point. 
Here comes the 3 1 pitch. Hit hard to short. Scooped up on the backhand. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting the pitcher. Jacob Ready for another DeGrom. chance. Jacob DeGrom hitting in his own turn with his guys up by two in inning number six. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. He's set and the two one pitch. That's ball three. three and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line drive to center field. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Success on a three and one count to keep the inning alive here. Well, I really thought they were going to go to a pinch hitter right here, but it sure worked out with the pitcher getting the base hit. That makes your manager look like a genius. In now, Curtis Granderson. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. The two one now to Granderson. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Mets leave one as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. Digging in and looking for more, Hunter Renfro. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Another payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The next 3 2. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Conforto is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. The batter number eight, shortstop, Eric Ibar. Here's Eric Ibar now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air to center. Granderson is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Digging in once again, Christian, Christian Bethencourt. Bethencourt. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Grounded to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. Back here at Petco Park, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your Kessler will come on now and he'll These slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Hedges is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's now spot hitting ninth now spot. on the double switch. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the inning. Riding in once again, Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left-hander has stood up to throw. Here it comes on 1-1. One and one. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. The one and two pitch. 
And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Margot has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The right fielder, number 30. Michael Conforto Michael. will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. Here's the one and one delivery right side fielded by Spangenberg throw on to first gets him and the side is retired down in order go the Mets and it remains five to three and that'll bring up Manuel Margot a hit in two tries so far Addison Reed comes on now, now and he'll take York. over with nobody out number in inning number three. seven. Addison Reed. Here's the one one. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. He's set. Here's the two two. A line drive over the head of Cabrera and on into left center for a base hit. I know it's getting late in the game, but that is a big leadoff hit. Maybe now, now they can start to close Catcher, that gap. Austin Hedges. So striding in, Austin Hedges. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Granderson on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting, left fielder, Travis. Jankowski. Digging in at the plate is Travis Jankowski. He's working on a one for three thus far. Your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Ready with the one and one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Runner at first here, one man out. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Set to deliver on two and one. And this will be fouled away. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Ready with another two two. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have it. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. That one is out of here. This game is tied. 
So a two-run homer down the line in right field. Home run number five on the year as we are all tied at five. Well, he didn't have to supply a whole lot of power with that one. He catches the fastball, and all he had to do is just really make a nice swing, which he did right there. And that ball just did not stop carrying. Into the box now, Will Myers. And he takes a cold strike, too. One and two, here it comes. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. The Padres get a couple of runs in the inning on the two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth, and we are all tied five to five. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher coming on now, and it's the very hard-throwing right-hander Jordan Walden who will make an appearance here. Neil Walker will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, and that is off the wall in right field. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody First out. Well, that 19. ball was scorched. Now, I know they hit the wall in the oh. air, but it gets to the wall. He still made a good decision not to go to second, to go back to first base. I think had he continued on, he probably would have been out. Time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. Standing in now Jay Bruce and a change up right down the middle. Don't know for sure but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Set to deal on two and two. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. Hit out towards second. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Late in the game, you don't want to give up the out by bunting the man over. So you put the hit and run on. Nice job. Now you got a runner at third base. Let's see if they can get him in. Digging in to try it again. David Wright. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Let's go, Padres. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Slider up that he gets a call on. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Changeup misses, and it's full three and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. And look out, that's in very tight, and it's ball four. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. The 1-1 pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side.
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Oh, that was a pitch he wanted right there. That, that's a situation you can't go to two balls because if you go to three, you know you're going to throw him a ball right down the middle. This pitch right here, it, it, everything hinges on this pitch. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And to score, the runner from third. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the How lead the ball game, you feel good about yourself, Josh. and his teammates Thank are you. pumped up as well. T.J. Rivera will get the call Vincent here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And he looks at one in there. One and two. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Not on that one as it's fouled away and the count holds at one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Base is loaded here. Nobody out. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Jankowski there for it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. Now the relay home. A tag, and he's out at the play to double play. It is Curtis Granderson. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Well, two on, two outs. And he's got himself in a great hitter's count. Just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. The walk would be good here, too. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Ready for another shot now as Dribble Cabrera. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. In comes Jay Kowski. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So one run on three hits, no errors, and three men left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets lead it 6-5. to five. Jose Reyes will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base, number seven. Hansel Robles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 47, Hansel Robles. Ready once again, Luis Sardinius. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A high fastball is in there. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now 3 and 2. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Swinging a soft liner, and that will get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. So the leadoff base hit puts the potential tying run aboard in the late stages of this one. Now that's a big base hit. Late in the game, you're down one. You got the leadoff guy on now. The rest of the way, it'll be interesting to me, how are they going to manufacture? Will they bunt him over to move him into the scoring position? Will they hit a gapper? Let's see how they score this run. They can possibly push him forward. Standing in, Hunter Renfro. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. 
One and one. Here it comes. And a fastball just a bit up. Nobody out runner on first. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. There's certain situations where things just have to happen. And this is one of those. Like it or not, he's got a challenge in right here. Swung on and missed three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Conforto will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Number Digging eight, in, stop. Eric Ibar. Eric it Ibar. was a flyout for him in his last trip. Runners on first with one down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Waiting on it is Granderson as he takes it for the second out. Carlos will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 20, Carlos Aswahe. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this is popped high in the air back behind short. And Cabrera will make the catch to retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We've played eight full. The Mets are out on top, six to five. Bright lights of downtown on the San Diego Bay. We're back now from Petco Park in the Your Cast Lamp plate. District as we're set now to start the, the ninth. Padres. Brad Ham enters from the pen to start Brad. the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. The throw to first is in time, one down. Stepping into the box, Michael Conforto. His career line against Brad Hand, 0 for 4. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Line hard toward right center. In there, a base hit. Conforto rounds third and is digging for the plate. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Wow, that error has got to really sting. Anytime a run scores because of an error, it eats at you, but especially when he comes around from first, he wasn't even in scoring position when the play started. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. And he puts it on the ground to second. Throw in time at first for out number two. The third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His career line against Brad Hand, just three for 14. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Hit hard toward the right side. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Mets lead this one seven to five. You're Jerry Spamilia, if the now man called the on to close this one and earn a number save in the ninth. 
Jayaris Familia. Now at the plate, Manuel Margot. Two hits in three at bats for him in this one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. He's set. Here's the three and two. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as that misses for ball four. He's really struggled with his command in this game. No doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Digging in for his second at bat, Austin Hedges comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. There's a strike as he gets this one over. It's three and one now. He's set. Here's the three one. Hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. Makes the play one away. Ready now, Travis Jankowski. Lifetime against Familia. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Corey Spangenberg. He's working on a one for three thus far. Has a look. Now the pitch. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however, to Cabrera for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Definitely a risky and aggressive play for the pitcher there, but he made it work out. They practice plays like that a lot in spring training, so it paid off this time. Here's Will Myers, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And that two-run lead could be in real jeopardy. It's extra bases. And the runner from third crosses the plate. But not in time. And just like that, this ball game is tied. Well, Matty Johnson, in the tie and run at the bottom of the night. Nothing like that. You can try to match it in practice. You can't do it in the game because of this. Listen to this crowd. They're going crazy. In now, Luis Sardinius. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Granderson is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. But disaster has already struck here in the bottom of inning number nine as two runs come across, and they'll have to work a little longer to try and pull this one out on the road. Tenth inning coming up, and we are tied 7-7. Stepping up to the plate, Travis Darno. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. The pitch. Change up. Called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Sardinius gets to it. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the 10th. No more Flores. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number four, Wilmer Flores. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Bases are empty, one man in. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. 
In is Curtis Granderson. His career line against Brad Hand. Three for 15. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Jankowski is there. Two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. No hits in five tries so far, but he does have an RBI. The one and one pitch. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Now the one and two pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Spangenberg is there. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. One hit, one left. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 7-7. Fernando Salas comes on to now start the home the 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Fernando Salas. At the plate, Hunter Renfro. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box now, Eric Ibar. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A set and the two and one pitch. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Conforto has it in his sights. Two down. Jabari Blash will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 32, Jabari Blash. Hits this one hard the other way. Right there is Reyes. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. So they go down without a whimper here, and we'll have to cancel those dinner reservations, partner. 11th inning coming up, and we are tied 7-7. Ryan Butcher takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 40, Ryan Butcher. Here's Yuan Cespedes, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Two and one now to Cespedes, and this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. In there, and it's full three and two. Payoff pitch on its way. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the box, Michael Conforto. In there, one and two now. The one and two pitch. Slider stayed too low, ball two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. 
There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. And he lays off. Nope. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra him. innings. Second he didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Reyes looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Down low, two balls and a strike. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. And that one right down Main Street. And here's a ball hit in the air. Renfro ranging forward, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. First baseman, number 19, Jay Bruce. Stepping in now. Jay Bruce and that misses for ball four so the potential go ahead run moves over to third, third now number five David Wright here's the third baseman David Wright struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here bases are loaded with only one out Ruled a strike on the outside corner, three and one. Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop-up and nothing productive comes out of that. In now, Travis Darno. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Now a swing here on the fastball as this is squirted up the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Another chance to win it here to the bottom of the 11th. All tied. And that'll bring up Manuel Margot. He's two for three thus far. Now a swing and a ball hit in the air down the left field line. And that'll get down for a base hit. Around first, digging for two. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he is in at third safely, so the winning run is 90 feet away with nobody out. So he's head first into third as he laid it all on the line on that one. Yeah, he took a pretty big risk going for the triple mat, but you've got to love the aggressiveness and the willingness to get dirty and beat the throw to third. Man, that was a fun play to watch. Digging in to try it again, Austin Hedges. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Possible winning run 90 feet away with nobody out. This is lined into left field, and it's going to fall for a base hit. And they come back to win it here in 11 innings. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow. So 
Well, the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Well, the numbers don't just jump out at you, but his lone hit was a really important one. And sometimes you just need to come through what it matters most to be the hero, and he did just that. A one-run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. Ryan Butcher gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The final line score of our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Eight runs on 12 hits, two errors, they left six men on base. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball toward short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to take it.